If you're sending goods from outside the European Union to consumers inside the EU, there are some important regulatory changes you need to know about. The value-added tax rules in the European Union have been amended and the changes are effective from July 1, 2021. Previously, commercial goods imported into the EU up to a value of €22 Euros were exempted from VAT. But as of July 1, 2021, all goods imported into the EU are subject to VAT and require formal customs declaration. So what do these regulatory changes mean for you? There are two key elements to be aware of. Firstly, a formal customs declaration. And secondly, VAT payment. Let's review what these mean for you. To ensure a smooth customs clearance at destination, your formal customs declaration needs to be right. It is key that you provide accurate commercial or pro forma invoice data, including goods descriptions, customs tariff code, itemized values, and item quantity. It is vital not to use generic goods descriptions such as samples or spare parts. You have to be accurate. In conjunction with the changes, the EU has introduced a new VAT collection scheme for online sellers or online platforms, known as Import One Stop Shop, or IOSS for short, which is optional and only applicable for B2C transactions of goods with a value of up to 150 euros. This means that as of July 1, 2021, DHL will apply the VAT charges in the same way we do today, unless you are an IOSS registered shipper for B2C goods up to 150 euros. Let's review the differences in more detail. VAT payment upon import. Either DHL pays VAT to the local authorities on import and then charges you or your customer, depending on the billing service, or the importer can pay VAT directly to the local authorities on import via its own import deferment account. To make life easier for you and your customer, you can pre-select to pay VAT with other customs-related charges, if applicable, when booking a shipment. DHL will outlay these charges and invoice you. This ensures all charges are received by you and not by your customers or receivers. This service is known as the DHL Duties and Taxes Paid Billing Service, or DTP. If you have an IOSS registration, VAT payment is different. If you are an IOSS registered online seller, you must collect VAT at the moment of purchase as per the VAT rate of the destination country. Then you must pay VAT to the local tax authorities in the EU via monthly VAT returns in the country where you are IOSS registered. But if you are not an EU established seller, you must appoint an intermediary, such as a tax representative, to fulfill VAT obligations on your behalf. Remember to provide the IOSS identification number electronically to DHL Express with the invoice data to avoid VAT being charged upon import. Our DHL Express international specialists are here to help you navigate through these changes. Visit our DHL website to find out more about European regulatory changes and how they apply to you.